Okay, I'm back. So, um, oh, interesting. What happened to the large? Did it go away? No. Just lost view of it. So there's an Algos and the Imperial Navy slicer at it with each other in the large. Um, there's a medium here too, ain't there? Not anymore. I'm going into the large and going to help help out that uh, um, that oh, Algos. Sorry. Even though the Algos is pirate as well, I'm heading over there. If I die, I die. I'd like to get that Imperial Navy slicer. I'm joining you. Okay. You I like I like when the ship cost is low enough that, you know, if you. Um, if you lose a ship, doesn't matter. And he's out of here. Okay. And so is the other guy. Okay. In fact, he left a couple of his drones. He was just in such a hurry. Hey, uh, you guys taking some heat from that uh, battle cruiser? We don't have a combined 500, I don't think. Oh. And here is the slicer. Oh, and here's Prochetta. Shit. Sink and work, warp out, warp out. I'm warping out. Warp drive active. I can't take on both of them at the same time. I already know that. Oh, and Prochetta just warped out. Okay. Well then. The gold thing that people keep checking, you get gold for being here, you get a little bit for following, you get uh, even more if you're a sub, and uh, you can use the gold to buy tickets, like we're giving away a uh, second decade edition, a shipped edition, only takes one ticket to get in, exclamation point ticket space one, takes ten gold, and uh, we use it for raffles. Welcome stuff. to the dragons. The slicer jumped to buy the sub. Okay. I assume that he'll come back in to there. Let's see, what's the other? We have a small. Let me uh, pop my scout over to the small and see what it looks like. Yeah, he's just walked back to the lodge. Yeah, I see that. Uh, yeah, it used to be scales, changed it to gold. You guys can go raid dungeons with the gold and stuff too. Let's see here. Big Miker is definitely watching the show. <laughs> he just appeared at the uh, small. Hope you guys aren't warping in there landing on the gate because he's right there. Welcome to the dragons. Where's the other guys that are in here? Where did they go? They must be in the novice, huh? Yeah, I flew over the novice quick. Is that where they're at? Nope, it's just me here. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, there's a couple more people in here, but... Um, they have to be just at the small or at the large. That slicer, I, I think he'll tear me up if it's just one on one, in all honesty. Warp drive active. I've got my tackler set up on this one. Okay. It's 
go back into the large? Nope. I'm dropping in on the small. Just, uh, if you're coming in, be careful because he probably just warped out and is warping right back. Slicer. Warp drive active. Hey, I'm inside the small. Welcome to the Dragons. Okay, three of us are this small now. Cool. Well, if he warps in, he'll have to deal with all three of us, and I would take that fight. So. I think after we capture this, we should go back and look at that, uh, that other um, station that we were at before. See if we can get some action out there. And... Uh, then I think that uh, 1900, is it 1900 Eve time? Yeah, 1900 Eve time. They got that Titan thing going on. I want to figure out where that's at. And um, I, uh, I'll i bring a couple of characters. I'll bring my Marky Dragon character in Covert Ops so that uh, we can get a view on what's going on. And then, uh, um, and then I'll bring, I have a, a uh, Covert Ops torpedo guy. Big Micro has landed outside the gate. So I have a torpedo guy that can do about 400 and some odd DPS. Um, it also happens to be Covert Ops, but uh, maybe I'll bring that one out and then I'll, uh, I'll also bring this character out. He left. He didn't come in. He decided he wasn't going to come in. Um, and then I'll, I'll bring my Korax as well. And that way if I lose my uh, Covert Ops guy that can do the torpedoes, then then uh, I'll have another ship I can engage with. Uh, I expect that we'll probably all die there. Um, because I think there's going to be a lot of fight infighting around I don't think everybody's just going to be working together to kill that Titan. I think there's going to be a shit ton of other fighting going on. So, it'll be absolute mayhem. Big white came into the novice. Hmm. Okay, well, we're over in the small. He didn't like the odds here. I also can't get into the novice, but... Punisher, warping in toward the gate, landed, he's with us, yeah, okay. So how do you like your Punisher? Just get 
getting used to it. I actually got a bunch of uh, metal benches built up that I thought I was using this morning. Mm -hmm. I um, I have uh, I have a character that's dedicating himself to Amar ships, and um, so I just I just decided to give him that focus yesterday. He's actually got. Um, He's got level five skills on Mimitar and Galante, frigate, destroyer, and cruiser. And I decided, what the hell, I'm gonna put a Mar on there. <laughs> um, but I don't have any characters that focus on Amar ships, and so um, he'll, uh, another couple days, and he'll be uh, tier five, T5 on uh, Amar frigates. I figured I'd uh, focus on Amar with him a little bit. Uh, I did fit up a Punisher last night, but I didn't. It didn't. Welcome feel quite right to the to Dragons. Me. And I ended up doing a. Uh, there's another. Another frigate. That's kind of similar. I forget what it's called. A Tormentor. I ended up uh, working a little bit more on a Tormentor. We have a Tristan at the gate. He's friendly. So he's Caldari State. He's coming in. How did we get talking about Russia versus U.S. in chat? <laughs> Welcome to the Dragons. Guess he decided he didn't want to hang out anymore. So probably, I don't know, let's see if that's 1900, 1800, uh, we'll see if we can figure out where they're at and, and go and dock up nearby where, where you know, what system it's going to be in. It's going to be absolutely nuts, so plan on dying. Interesting chat discussion there, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a bit off topic, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Russia versus the U.S. in war. No the IS. No IS. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. man. <laughs> and uh, now, which Pokemon character is the best? I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Anton. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like we have a troll. Yeah, something like that. But um, yeah. So Brian, are you excited for H one Z one? Oh, I wait for that date since I think it was they announced it in Germany in April, beginning of April or so, when I was mm -hmm. starting to stream. 
Yeah. And finally the soon TM is over. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward for that game, definitely. Since, yeah. I mean, the development got stuck on day Z, there's nothing happening on the game. Mm -hmm. Well, development didn't stop on day Z. They're doing development on the engine now. They're, 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 well, actually, the, they're doing something with the standalone. You know, I know they made their own engine for this, the, they did their own thing for the standalone, but then I heard that they're actually replacing the standalone engine. And so um, they want to make a complete new revamp of the engine then, okay? That's why they didn't implement it much. Stuff yeah, yeah, so, so that, that's why it's yeah. quiet, because because it just, it's it's of no use to put in new features and stuff on the old engine, because you have to completely rewrite them for the new engine. Um, so, you know, it, it, that's what, we had one of the devs on the show one day, and he was talking about that, uh, Last time, last time I broadcast, Daisy showed up. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Now and the problem was a lot of people are disappointing because there was not much progress at all. That's the point why the people were like, hmm, I don't know, you know. Mm. Yeah. Well, so you know, hopefully, all of a sudden, they have a new version out. And then, and it's really great, and it has some new features, and then, then you know they start adding a lot of things to that. I, I think they they potentially could really do it right, um, but you know, it takes a long time to do those things. Yeah. So, but H one Z one on the fifteenth, thirteenth uh, we have a new the latest publish of. Uh, um, of Eve, and so I'm going to broadcast on the 13th in the afternoon. It's going to be a kind of a short show, um, and then the 15th is a Thursday. I'll be doing H1Z1 for the next three days, unless uh, unless it sucks. But I hope not. I'll have a plan B though. You know, it, it uh, I don't know what time it's launching on Thursday. I just know it's launching on that Thursday. So, probably start out the day with Eve and then uh, flip over as soon as, as soon as I can get it installed. Man, these, these little wisps. God, they just steal my FPS all the time. It's another thing I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking about taking this 570 video card, my secondary video card to 570. I'm thinking about taking it out of my game machine and putting it into my stream machine and taking the 770 out of my stream machine and putting it in my game machine. I think I'll get a little bit better performance. I'd like to be able to run multiple clients simultaneously again. Uh, two patches ago or whatever, updates ago, they made it, it, the, my FPS went down with running multiple clients simultaneously. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I, and I like to run it full graphics. I could run multiple at the same time if I were to dumb down the graphics, but I don't want to do that. Welcome to the Dragons. I see Prochetta's back in, uh, in system. I doubt he'll come in here with us. Well, I'm gonna, it looks like I might be in on a capture for once. Yep. 
Yeah, I know, you always seem to die and not be able to get into a ship fast enough to get back before we capture, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. Three minutes left. Looks like we have a median outpost to show up to. Oh. Yeah, we might be able to hop on that. I want to, um... I'm going to send my scout over to that station to look. Um, I've already got a scout there. It's quiet. There's oh, a cycle quiet. sitting out, but it's uh, friendly. Okay. Well then. On the novice. Um, two minute warning in the novice. Okay, two minute warning in the small. <laughs> I didn't realize anybody was over in the novice. Three of us here. Oh, well, I guess. Uh, really? In on the novice. Who's there with you? Because it's not us. The purples. The purples. You're Mari, right? We're in, uh, we're in the. I am. The, I, I'm, I'm right next to you. We're in the small. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, yes. So. We are all together. We're capturing this novice uh, cloaked as a small. <laughs> yeah, I can't get into a novice, but uh, <clears throat> funny. So, I'm going to eat in front of y'all. My dad made me a sandwich. He's been visiting from Oregon. He's going to the Smite World Championships with me next week. I'm in Oregon. You're in Oregon? Hi. Uh, whereabouts? Southern Oregon. A little town called Grants Pass. Oh, I've been to Grants Pass many times. So, uh, I've done, uh, like, the Rogue River. It's Rogue River that goes through there, right? Yes, sir. Yep. I've done the mailboats there. Comes out near Brookings. Um, I've, uh, yeah, I've been all over the place there. So, I grew up in Oregon. So did I. Rogue River High School, class of 75. Ah, well, I'm, uh, I was in Portland. Class of, I didn't graduate. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know what my class would have been, but if you're class of 75, you're a bit older than me. Yeah, but my beard's not as pretty yet. Hmm. Yeah. Katana says he's in Roseburg. I've been to Roseburg many times too. Good place. Sutherland, yeah, suburb of Roseburg. Okay, we captured. Um, hey, well, if there's nothing over at the uh, back at the station, I suppose I'll send my scout over to this medium. Oh, Dad's watching the show. He just comes out, and he's like, the Rogue River actually comes out in Gold Beach. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. He's enjoying watching the show, I think. Okay, just out of curiosity, 
the uh, line that you see up in the upper left hand corner is that in our favor or in Galente favor? Um, we're warping. Oh, it says uh, the the line? No, that's that's it's that is our favor because it's owned by Gal by Galante. So that is our progress towards capturing it and turning it into Caldari. Okay. Even though we're, uh, I'm a Mar and stuff, but um, anything, any actions that we take, you know, help propagate that. Hey, we have an Orthus landed on the gate here too. Go in, go in, go in. What is an Orthus? I don't remember if we need to be afraid of that. Um, he packs a punch. Yeah, he did he catch you? No, he targeted me. I, yeah, I didn't even get a chance. He popped me one shot. I don't even know what a Northus is. T3. Oh. Okay. So, um, yeah, if he's popping in here, we should probably leave. We're going to get creamed by a T3. He's targeting me. He's got me. Hey, well, I'm gonna fight him. Oh, he's blasting the shit out of me! Holy shit, two shots and I was dead. Yep, that felt good. That was hot. So. Um, okay, well, get out if you can. Hmm. Well, that was the last ship I had available. <laughs> well, go out and buy some more, I guess. Warp drive active. I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, mission work to get some more money. Hey. Yeah, he tore me up. Oh, great. Just landed on him at the gate. Let's see if I jump through before he grabs me. Yep. All right, well, that worked out well. Hmm? Warp drive active. All he was looking for was the kills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm all back. that lovely. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a big ship. Did you get popped as well? Mm-hmm. What yeah. was it? An Orthus? Was it a character called Lauren Haley? Yes. Oh my god. She hunted me down for a couple weeks. She uses an Orthrus with several boosters at a time. If you see her in local, just dock up or get out as soon as you can. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Yeah, I got torn up. Badly. She frickin' um, pointed me at 70 kilometers. Hmm. She's definitely good. She took out all three of us. She just appeared right at the gate. I don't think she warped in. I think she was cloaked right there. I got out safe. Hmm. Okay. Oh. She sent me her fit a while ago. It's, um, pretty good. As a noob, I'm still building muscle memory, so when you guys say get out of here, I try to do it automatically. Mm hmm. <laughs> How many people are in fleet at the moment? Docking permission. Six requested. of us. Five. Docking request accepted. I'm not counting uh, MD. He's just scouting and boost.
Hey, well, that system is... We've had some success over there. We've had some failure over there, too. Holy cow. So, yeah, she just popped in and left. Warp drive active. Just took us out and then just went on her way. I'm coming back over. Um, Heading back into the medium. Uh, yeah. It's clear at the moment. I'm not quite in system yet. Uh, she just popped into system again. So, definitely on the hunt. Yeah, so I'm just uh, warping to safe at the moment. Warp drive active. I just want to see if she's just passing through or what. She tore us up. I mean, badly. I don't know what you can actually do against her ship because it flies at two and a half kilometers per second, shoots you from 50 something kilometers, and can point you from 70. It's Sounds got like my 20. kind of ship. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, her fit costs 1.7 billion isk, but. Wow. It seems to work. I'm going to have a look at how you make, board. How do you make money with a ship that costs that much? The loop. And I expect she probably does something else to pay for it. She's still in system. Hmm. Is that the medium? Yeah, she has a pretty impressive kill board. December 2014, 53 kills. 160 before that, 244 before that. She's averaging about 200, 200 kills per month. Wow. 128 billion is skin damage done. So theoretically, she probably has made about 30 or 40 billion off that. Hmm. Well, I hope to get my first kill today. Hey, I'm dropping in on the medium. Um, she was there, she's not there. Might come back, I don't know, we'll find out. If she does, run. Mm-hmm.
think the only thing you can do is actually sense a dampener. Fear. You could ECM her fairly easily. Her um. Uh, she's got. 25 gravimetric, so you could ECM that. Other than that, nope. I genuinely <clears throat> don't know how you beat it. So, Fear says that uh, in chat that he wants to like run a brothel in E, <laughs> and then he's gonna pimp out my corpse. Sexy-looking ship escorts. I guess you better. You gotta work on getting getting my corpse then. Uh, here. That sounds like a rather limited clientele. Yeah. So she's left system. I'm sure she'll be back looking. She seems to be roaming looking for kills. The executioner just popped into the novice. Welcome to the Dragons. Got me pointed. Welcome to the Dragons. I can't get into the novice, sorry, can't help you. What's the name? Dr. Knuckles. Welcome okay. to the Dragons. Warped out, he dropped it. It's T1 Amar frigate. Hey, um, actually, yeah, okay, thanks. My dad just brought me in a peeled orange. I was just trying to think about how I was going to eat that without getting my keyboard and mouse with sticky orange juice on it. Dusted sky. Oh. Well, oh, Jay-Z Guru gave you some gold. You can buy ten tickets with that. Jay-Z Guru won the big prize yesterday. Isn't it exclamation point give? I don't remember all the commands.
So Dizzy, how do you like your core axe? Okay, just need to uh, train a few more skills up. Dad's watching the show. So I mentioned I don't know how I'm going to eat this without getting my hand sticky. He brought me a fork. <laughs> yeah, once I... uh Just see a random hand pop in. On yeah. The <laughs> um, I, uh... My Korax has been really nice now that that I've got some skills, especially all these missile skills stuff. It's it's starting to come together really nicely. Welcome to the dragons. Is Dusted Sky rich now? Now that everybody's giving him some gold? Buy however many tickets you want. Actually, this is... Oh, we, we got uh, Prochetta at the gate. He's a Navy Comet. He's actually not right on the gate. He's quite far out from it, actually. But I'm sure he's thinking about coming in. He'd like to. He's in a Federation Navy Comet. Are you going to take him? Mm-hmm. you going to try and fight him if he comes in? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He left. He didn't want to be uh, double poked by our Korax missiles. I'm sure we could have lit him up pretty good. the range I've got on this. 58k at the moment. So, from the looks of it, I can get it even higher. I'm stuck on 47. I'm using uh, faction missiles instead of T2. Give me more range, the uh, Kadari Navy Scorch. Coming in. Sunday, I used the term correctly. Coercer at the gate. Coercer at the gate, aligned leave. Is the coercer? Shit, is the coercer the one we fear? No, it's the authoress. Courses that they can destroy us. Yeah, okay. For sure is fine. I get mixed up. What's what's the name of the the other one that just that they just added? The Gaudius or something? The the Amar T three destroyer. Oh, the Confessor. 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 Coercer. God. 
That's my problem. I'm I'm getting them a little bit mixed up, you know. Linguistics camouflage. Right. Yes. It's that trickery like making a novice look like a small. Or naming a ship a probe. Right. That Minmatar ship. How much loyalty points have I gotten today? Well, we got 10,000 off that last one. 10,000 off the one before. I got 512 for killing Prochetta. I killed a piece of cheese. Ow. That's racist. Dude. And then I ate two more. So, you know, put I put some Prochetta on my uh, sandwich there. Um, oh, and Prochetta yesterday, I got 220 whenever I killed him. Uh, okay, so Prochetta I have killed three times in a row now. Prochetta is my last three kills. <laughs> I'll take it any way I can get it. What's the proper etiquette on loot, looting these rags? Uh, if you want it, take it. Uh, if it's yellow to you, it'll flag you, and you're freely shootable. Some people will wait for that and then shoot you. Um... My policy is that don't fly anything you can't afford to lose, and if your ship blows up and somebody else grabs all your stuff out of there and takes off, no complaining. Uh, and, you know, if we're all involved on a kill, and we get a good kill, whoever gets there first loots it, I guess. There's a lot more money to be made in the LP than there is in the loot. So, but some people really like loot. by yourself what those avatars the uh, team speak ones are you making all those custom yeah or is somebody doing that for you I'm doing that. that's pretty cool what I only made two of them oh wait oh the team speak ones yeah oh no team speak ones I didn't make oh cool cool sorry I thought you meant the twitch ones team speak ones but just on google because <laughs> there's no copyright restrictions and stuff. Yeah. Did you see the C3PO one I gave Erasmus? No, let me see. <laughs> Everyone kept calling him C3PO because he sounds exactly like him. <laughs> so I gave him a badge. I think uh, after this, we need to go roaming around, finding some things to shoot and blow up. In fact, I wonder where... Uh, we have one hostile faction member in system, although they could be... They own this system, so they could be in... Uh, I was going to say they could be in a station, but there is no station, so never mind on that. What's optimal distance for me to hang around this... Uh Post. What is your what is your range on hitting a target? 
targeting range or weapons no, you, range? Weapons range. Three to five. Three to five. Three and a half to five point nine clicks. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the you can go as far as thirty out to actually about twenty nine. Uh, and that's what I'm orbiting at, it's 29. But I'm also able to shoot it across the entire thing. If you're really fast, you can do that. Um, but you got to be careful about when you go about out to your orbit space because you will pop outside of the bubble before you come back in and settle at your orbit. And if we complete it at the si same time that you pop out, you get a message saying, we saw you were here, but you didn't collect anything. And that sucks. I mean, it's good for the rest of us, but it sucks for you. <laughs> I'm do not pass go. And, uh, do just, not collect if anything comes in, I'll, uh, I'll web it. Yeah, so if you actually, you know, were orbiting at like 10 or something like that, and you're able to, you know, to grab things, um, that, uh, that would be a good combination. But, you know, it also means that you're most likely the first to get targeted. Been there, done that too. Yeah. So, Jay-Z, were you surprised yesterday when you won? <laughs> yeah, I've never won before. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And do they not make those anymore? No. See, that's pretty clutch. I might not even open it. I've already got one over here. Oh, what I would open it. I would. He was in a second decade. I would open it, claim those codes. I really want that golden pod. I sold my first one. If you have yeah. a spare billion-esque, you can get one. <laughs> Um, I opened it. Got my ref just sitting on my computer. <laughs> oh yeah, I got that sitting over there too. All someone, up, looking all fancy. Someone in Hogs said um, that he's got two collector's editions, and he also has a bunch of like uh, volcanic rock things which he's tied to his ceiling and then put the rifters hanging so it looks like they're flying around an asteroid belt. That's quite, oh goodness! That's quite cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the golden pods, uh, I think the price is about to go up on those. Um, the problem is the sell volume on, this, on them is so low. There's tons of people buying, but it took me nearly three days being the top bidder to sell one. You mean to buy one? Uh, no, to sell, to sell one of them. No. I think I sold mine nearly instantly, about 1.8 billion. Um, <clears throat> I put a golden pot on my Marky Dragon character. You know, the thing though is, who else sees the gold on the pod? That's a good question. Who who looks at the pods that close? It's only you. Yep, personal preference. Yep. So, it's just, I mean. Um, also, the name, because it doesn't just say capsule, it says. Uh, what's the name? I can't remember, but it does say something different um, as the name of the ship, essentially. Mm. Which is quite good because um, sometimes people don't smart bomb or target it straight away because they don't think it's a capsule. Even though it has the same icon, but it's not, not used to what, uh, it's not the same as what they're used to seeing. Mm. So it does actually have a little bit of a tactical advantage. Interesting. It went up to 1.8 billion? I don't know. Uh, we'd have to look on... I don't know what they're called. I mean, because I could look on... If you go on special edition assets, that's special edition implants. Genolution Auroral AU-79. So, uh, you can buy one for 1.15 billion right now. They have gone up. I sold mine for 1 billion. Has that, uh, I remember a couple months ago you were 
going over everything, like the worth of everything in that pack, mm -hmm. and it was like, has that like gone down or started mm -hmm. to go up? I remember what was it all like a uh, five billion or six billion or something? It was four point seven billion or something like that, and I would yeah. say it's down around three point two to three point five billion. Wow. Right now. Do you expect that to go up, with especially with them not making any more of these? The golden pods are going to get more expensive here. So, um, yeah, I can't... They're going to get more expensive, but not for a while. Yeah. So... Maybe I'll just hold out then. Yeah, I don't know. No rush. If, if, if you never die with your character, then there's no use in having it. Um. <laughs> Lauren Haley should get one. I'd probably wear it out. <clears throat> so, what's the buy orders on these? One, one billion. Are people buying them at one billion? I think that that um, if you like it, apply it, and just work and get some money and buy some right now. Hedge your bets on just holding on to them. Or just buy one right now and keep, I don't know, whatever. But uh, I think that they'll go up. Um, but, you know, maybe they'll go up to like three billion or so, but that might be a year from now. And there's been nothing from CCP saying that this is the only run of those they'll ever do. So, Couldn't they just come out with another collector's edition next year or something like that? Yeah, it's not going to happen. No. I, I, I already know it's not, yeah. Word. Um, so, uh, boxed editions in this day and age are very, very rare. Mm -hmm. So, um, and especially for a game like Eve that's 10 years old, it's not going to get shelf space unless they buy it. Uh, and um, people already know if they want to play Eve. You don't, um, you don't walk into a store and browse the games there and see it and say, oh, you know, I think I should be playing this 10-year-old game. Nobody does that, no matter how good the box looks. So, But on um, the contrary, what about WoW? WoW is a different Blast animal. So That's true. That's true. Wow, wow. That's true. Is okay. So, so when you're looking at uh, statistics and everything, you take out the the outliers. So you take out WoW and you take out whatever's on the bottom. And because WoW, really, its boundaries that it's pushed are multiple times beyond that of other games. And um, so, you know, if you're looking at what the normals are in in the market space, you have to remove WoW, even though yep. it's a significant portion of the market. Um, so, you know, people people used to come out all the time to be like, is this game the next WoW killer? <laughs> and that's what, I mean, we used to hear that all the time. And it's like, shut the hell up, you know? This is getting old, you know? Um, will WoW be around forever? I don't know. You know what? We could see it 20 years from now still going. It may look a hell of a lot different and everything, but uh, I wouldn't put it past it, just like... Uh, okay, we got a Caracal on the gate. He is Galante Federation. Uh, we can take him if he come. We can try and take him. He, no, Caracal will take us out if he. <sighs> Shit. He will whoop your ass. Yeah, a line to safe. We don't need to go yet. He has not activated the gate, but a line to safe. Nine seconds to capture. Oh shit! Really? Fuck! He's warping in. God damn it! And he's gonna automate. Oh, warp out! Warp out! We gotta leave. I know it's 59 seconds left, but there's no way we can finish the capture right now. He's gonna kill us. And and that'll show at 39 minutes for him to capture. However long he stays in there, he's gonna change it uh, that much, but hopefully he only stays a couple minutes and then goes. There's a Vexor Navy issue. 
there as well now. Yeah, we have a bunch of opposing milita that's landed. We never, we, we would have just died. Yet, yeah, in fact, they're all landing there now. They're all Galante Federation. There's Nishtar, two Ospreys, Vexor Navy issue, three Ospreys. Yeah, those ones stick around. Yeah. If it were a neutral coming in and we didn't have a rat, then I'd be like, okay, we can probably live long enough to capture. But being that the clock stopped, no sense in staying there. Hey, head straight back in. It's clear. Warp into the gate at 10 and pop in there. You guys coming in? On my way. I forgot, was that small or the medium? Medium? On, on way. Okay. Activate as soon as you land. Warp drive active. back. Wait, warp out. Go back to safe. Warp drive active. He's a different one actually. No, we could shit. Uh did he did he warp off? I don't know, he was at the gate. I'm inside. <sighs> shit. Okay, I'm coming right back. Uh he's well, actually, he's outside. He's about 50 off the gate. He's in a Navy Comet. If all three of us tackle him at the same time, we, we might be able to take him, but... Um, he's, go he's activating the gate. Warp out. Let him get discouraged that we're not there, and then... Then uh, we can drop back in. The other guys all left the system. They were roaming fleet. <laughs> He's sitting in there now. Hey, he's gone. You ready to drop back in? Let's go. It's Dr. Knuckles. He left system. We have nothing opposing us other than the pesky rat that's in there. So let's uh, make sure all three of us are in there before we take it out. That way we'll all get paid. Okay, remember to not to go too far away from the cap.
late night fleet. No. Is that true? It's not true. Not unless there's been something posted in the last couple of days. Uh, that is not true. Wait, what okay. happened? I got a little nervous there. That was really uh, cool. He was saying that, you know, didn't CCP officially cancel Valkyrie. Welcome to the Dragons. <laughs> It's more likely to hear that Project Legion was cancelled than it is to hear that Valkyrie was cancelled. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna cancel Valkyrie. Mm -mm. Okay, uh, I'm a little ignorant here. What is Valkyrie? It's another it's space like game that's first it's person. Like, yeah, first person version of EVE, exclusively for the Oculus Rift when it comes out. Hey, one minute to capture. Yeah, that whole voice thing uh, for Eve 2, uh, it ain't going to happen on my show. Can you imagine me just tell explaining how to do something <laughs> to somebody and my ship starts going bonkers? Oh, wait, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It'd be like my fucking Xbox. When, oh my when my wife yells at the kids, turn the Xbox off, and ours shuts off. This guy online changed his name, <laughs> this guy online changed his name to Xbox Off, and then people would I just say, his, that. That people was would so say his name and game, and it would cut their game off. Or go <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it was so funny. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I've also had it do things when we've said like cereal box and, you know, some other things. And um... I know um, when they were putting like a demo thing at E3, you could obviously, because you could watch it live on your Xbox 360. And um, those who. Ha no, it wasn't that. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly how it worked, but I know there was something where they had a live conference. And anyone watching it on their Xbox was having issues with the guy on screen saying something <laughs> and it was telling their Xbox to do stuff. Right. Yeah, uh, well that happens. I watched this, uh, by the way, I'm, I'm going to the E system. I'm just going to go over there and look and see what's over there. Um, the... Um, <clears throat> uh, Android. So, if I'm on my home screen on, on my phone, um, okay, Google, it's not, it's not working. But if I were on my home screen and I say that, let's see here. Okay, Google. Of course, it's not working. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, the... Ooh, this system is going to be, might be good for hunting. I don't know. We might die, but it might be good for hunting. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going out to a safe spot, and I'm going to bring in my uh, scout. Um, Warp drive active. Anyway, uh, this week in Google, every time they talk about the the application listening and stuff like that, People who are listening on their TV and stuff, their phones start doing things <laughs> because it hears it hears them watching on TV or on you know whatever and and uh, starts doing things and so they fuck with everybody every once in a while and say things on purpose. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I just saw the first list of uh, most anticipated games of 2015. There are some really good games on this list. Really good ones. Warp drive. I'm checking out the smalls. I've got uh, I got a few games that are coming up. H1Z1. Neosland. Yeah. 
That's part of my list. Oh, silly telemarketers. So I don't know where all these guys are. There's a ton of um, sites in here. Warp drive active. I'm not checking the bigger stuff. I can't get into novices with this ship, so I'm not checking those at the moment. Because um, I can't even get in and do anything about it. I'm checking these smalls. Warp drive active. Someone wanting to start playing Eve, where's a good place to start? The boring tutorials for a day or two. I say they're boring because I was bored with them, but they teach you the basics. Hey, there's nothing in any of the smalls. Um. Guess I'll start looking at the Warp mediums. Drive. Not that I think that we're going to be able to go in and capture one of these. And they got to be hunting in here, all these guys, because it's zero contest in here. And so even if they they capture, um, you know, they save a, a complex, there's no um, no financial incentive. Warp drive active. There was an article saying this leak, McFleet. You should link to that article. I think I found it. It was just a third party article. Oh, Rumors is it the Minotti? Uh, let me see. Yeah, from June 30th, I, <clears throat> I have information after Rock, June 30th. Rock, paper, shotgun. Oh. Warp yeah, it's, active. don't worry guys, uh, I think Valkyrie is okay. Um, so, Project Legion, we have yet to see, it's behind, it's behind in development. Now, I'm actually looking forward to that a little bit more than, than Valkyrie, but that's just me. I like first-person shooters too, and that's what that is. It's the ground forces. I'm, I'm excited for the new Battlefront. If Dice does it correctly, oh, same. And if it's got Oculus support, I mean that's just double awesome. If it doesn't have it built in, someone will make it. Yeah. Warp drive active. God, I, I've been to almost every place now. I'm now, I've done all the larges, all the mediums, all the everything, except now I'm going to go look at the novices. Is there's, there's a station here. I bet you they're all on station. Warp drive active. Uh, Regio's careful what you say about the Minotti. They own half of the space in EVE. Whoa, what the hell is Entrop Entropy? Warp drive active. It uh, looks like a straight up EVE clone. Oh, you mean Project Entropia? Or Entropia Universe? E-N-T-R-O-P-Y. I don't know. Release date TBA 2015. Developers Art Plant. Don't know. Hey, these guys gotta all be on station. Um, uh, I've been to every facility here now. 
This looks like a mix of Elite Dangerous and Eve. Okay, I Welcome to the Dragons. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm going over to medium O, O Z U. I think that might be a quick capture. It's registering as 100% on my scout, which means that it was either just captured or is about to be captured, and uh, there's nobody at it, so might be easy pickings for us. I'm walking to the gate now. Yeah, so am I. <clears throat> Welcome to the Dragons. Warp drive active. Oh, what have we got here? It's not 100%, but there's definitely two rats. Two big rats. Do larges have smaller timers than mediums? No. It's uh, 20 or 25 minutes. Welcome to the dragons. This one's got a timer of 26. It's it just means, it means that opposing faction was there. Opposing military uh. ran it up. Well... We earned off that last capture 20,000 LP each. Brings me up to about 50,000 LP today. That pays for my ships, that's for sure. So this one is one of those double, double rat things. Um, we'll have another one appear here in just a minute. Uh, makes it kind of easy in some respects because the the rats will be done before we hit 10 minutes on the timer. This one isn't anywhere near 100%. I don't know why I was saying 100% on my on my thing. It was just normal. Um, <clears throat> So, I don't know, I suppose we can, I mean, we can capture if we want to. I'd rather get some action, a little bit of PvP action in. Hey, Mari, you found us. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay, fear, catch you later. Fear is a DJ in real life. He's got to go out there and make them peeps happy. Dancing to music. I've known Fear. I've played games with Fear 
since 1997 or 98. Wow. Yep, we met in Ultima Online. This guy's got his micro warp on. Get him haul ass. I play games. Uh, I've not uh, seen any updates for Project Legion. I just know in its development timeline that Valkyrie was supposed to be after it and is now ahead of it. Welcome to the Dragons. And a lot of the hubbub about the financial security of CCP has something to do with uh, a $10 million loan payment that's due, I think, this year. So, um, it's, it's like, you know, it's one of those loans with a bubble. Like, is that what they call them? A bubble loan? Where, you know, sure. you... You do something like you take out, um, you know, a loan for twenty million, make payments for ten years, paying essentially twenty million, and then you have a ten million dollar bubble payment. Balloon uh, payment. Balloon, balloon. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, that's what at the end of it. Or um, I don't know how those all work out, but. Um, but I, I know that it's a, a loan that comes due this year. It's, it, and I don't know all the numbers and stuff. So, um, but that's what people are a little freaked out about. Um, you know, so I'm sure they got it figured out because there's there's a there's a good. You know, Eve has something really good going for it. And uh, I'm not too worried about it streams of income to CCP have? It's got to be quite a few. I mean, they've got EVE online. Valkyrie they've got EVE out. online. No, that's that's not a stream of income. True. Not even out yet. Hey, we got a comet. Dirty pillows. Um, it's on scan. He's landed about, I think, around 100 out. It's Dr. Knuckles. <clears throat> EVE Online is extremely profitable. Uh, so, Dr. Knuckles is out at the gate. He's He is approaching the gate, it looks like. Not very fast. He's not going anywhere very fast. Um, if he comes in, I'd be willing to take him on. As long as all three of us do. I wouldn't take him on one-on-one, -on -one, but if all three of us are, no problem. Uh, he might be waiting for reinforcements. If it's just him, why not? Yeah. He's approaching the gate, but only at like 600. It's not very fast at all. Okay. And I think he left. No, he's dropping in here. Switch off the rat. Untarget the rat. Lock on to Dr. Knuckles. And engage.
going far enough out, might have to engage with his drones here. Don't let him pull you out. Don't chase him out. Now I'm going to switch back over to the cruiser. And keep an eye on uh, Dr. Knuckles here. Pull this drone's in. Okay. Coming back to the cap. I think that if he comes back, we target his drones. I may have got one. Okay. He could be hollering for help, too. Could be. Yep. Help has arrived on the gate. It's a thrasher. He's not activated the gate yet. If he comes in, we go out. If he activates, we leave. So, we can't, uh, we can't do both. Thrasher can pack quite a punch. It's a great brawler. He has not activated the gate yet, though. Oh, did he activate? No, he left. He left. Let's engage with uh, the doctor again. Let's get his drones. I'm on the last drone. He's gone too far out. He's gonna run out of drones here pretty soon. Here he is again. He's fishing. he's doing. Maybe he's waiting for another rat to appear. One, two, three, four. We have three more rats that are going to appear.
Okay, we have another one on the gate. It's an Atron. Um, Glente Speed Demon Frigate. He's uh, coming in. He's coming in. He's going to try and get point. Everybody on the Atron. Everybody on the Atron as soon as he lands. Attack the Atron. Wow, he's got a great uh, shields on him. I tried to find him and he just pulled right away. Yeah, he's very fast as well. Wow. Red just popped. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if we can take out the rat before they they hit us again. Oh, the Atron left. He didn't want any part of it, I guess. Uh, he's still within scan range. He just went out of bounds. He went more than 400 out. Dang. So we'll get this rat. Atron's coming back in. Yep. Or, or he cloaked. I wonder if he has a cloak. Because he just appeared at 150 out. Are you guys shooting this rat? Yep. Okay. Let me take him out really quick before we get end up with uh, these guys coming in on us again. Atron's coming in. Engaging with the Atron. He is so much faster than me. Man. We're doing a pretty good job holding our own here. Atron's gone. Take it out.
trains coming in, it looks like. Hey, we have a stabber. The stabber we're gonna have to leave, I think. If it comes in. Oh yeah, we got multiple. Time to leave. Leave now. Go to safe. Everybody go to safe. Got a Navy Comet, Stabber. Two Navy Comets, Stabber. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Good. Hey. We'll, uh... Oh. Okay, there's, they're still in there. One of them being Prochetta. Um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab another pop. Two comets are still in there. One of them being Prochetta, the other one Dr. Knuckles. Phoenix. Hello, hello. Yeah, be sure to to mention to Praxy next time you see him. Thank you for the hosting. Things are going good and I'm getting ready to go to the Smite World Championship next week. So They're still in there. I think they're taking it. I'm not confident enough that we can get the distance necessary if we land on that gate and warp in. And I know that uh, Prashetta is watching, uh, watching the stream, or at least he has in the past. You got a really noisy keyboard there, there, bud. Whoops. I pushed the talk as the backspace key. <laughs> Let me change that real quick. <laughs> I was wondering why we hear you. Every once in a while we I'm hear so some sorry. typing and then we don't, and then we hear you typing again. <laughs> oh, man. Let me take care of that. Yeah, it changed like tilde or something. <laughs> oh, a new mouse. <sighs> Okay, well, um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to warp in at 100 on the gate, and I'm going to orbit the gate. Uh, and see if I can draw them out. Oh, one of them just left. Shit. Uh, Dr. Knuckles left. And Prochetta, I know we can get him. So, I'm going to have to burn toward the gate now, though. But I'm totally willing to go in against, uh, against, uh, him. So 
So I'm gonna get down close to the gate. Are you guys coming back in? Morphing to you. Yep. Okay. Just landed. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna... Hey, so just landing. Okay, as soon as I get there, we can all three activate the gate at the same time. Standing by. He's either going to be right at the landing point, or he's going to be quite far out. Shit, stabber, inbound, stabber, inbound. Uh, fuck, stabber just landed. I'm engaging the stabber. That's going to be my death, I'm sure. Engage the stabber. Webbing. We're into his armor. Look at this, guys. We can get him. He is burning away fast. Um, Dr. Knuckles just arrived. Attack Dr. Knuckles. And be ready to leave because that stabber may come back. Oh, they're wet. They got me webbed. Hey, I'm working directly on Dr. Knuckles. Got a Navy Comet that's just arrived as well. Bruschetta's out here. Yeah, they got me. Uh, to warp up, Stabber got me to quarter of me uh, hole left. Yeah. Okay. No, that was too much for us. I'm gonna try to warp out. Okay, yeah, get out if you can. It's too much. Out. Hi. In game channel is Marky Dragon. All one word. Hey, well, I'm going to ship up again and hmm, then decide what to do. Do we still have a scout over at that station? Yeah, it's uh, quiet. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. <laughs> no one's been in and out for the last 10 minutes. Has anyone seen uh, the any update on where the event's going to be held for blowing up the Titan today? Jita. At Jita? Nah. Yeah, I was thinking that was not, no. That's not possible. Titan can't get into Jita. I'm back. Hey. Found the link, give me just a sec.
I just realized the time. I'm going to have to call it a day. Okay. Well, it's been fun. Thanks for playing. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next fleet. Yep. Hey, well, I think I'm going to go back over to that station. It's a little time to kill. Uh, and then, uh, um, I don't know, maybe I'll bring up my other account and fit up the, the other ship I've got. Yeah, so there's going to be a Titan blow today. I don't really know what all is going to be involved with that, except that probably there's going to be a massive amount of people dying. I'm sure they've already scheduled it with CCP because big events like this, they uh, CCP wants them to let them know ahead of time so that they can make sure and put extra server resources on that system. Otherwise, you do like we did on our first Drunken Rome that we did... We had, I don't know, 280 people or so on the Rome, and um, we crashed one of the systems. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, all of us got booted out, uh, and everything started slowing down. The time dilation went super duper slow, and then we all got booted from the game. Welcome to the Dragons. And then other people reported they couldn't even get into that system. And then, so we all logged back into the game and it told us that we had to wait, that we were already playing the game. And so we couldn't play with that same character again because we were already playing the character in the game. And uh, so we had to uh, wait for our characters to time out in order to get logged back in again. While drunk. It was great. <laughs> I remind that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you were there. Shortly, short, shortly before we went to a um, low sec system, if I'm not wrong, one system before. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember, but uh, exactly where we were. But I remember it happened. <laughs> what agent do I work for? How do I find it? Kind of noob to faction warfare. So uh, matrixes, then uh, go, um, go to any Amar station and you can join Faction Warfare. So, uh, Nomago, I really doubt that you have 5,000 gold. Yeah, uh, so you can do 193 tickets, not 500. Um, the raffle is gonna be at the end of the stream. So if you win, I will send it to you, even if you're not here, or I will send you a message, that's for sure. Yeah, well, it may have been that, um, that there was another fleet landing in that same system as well and everything. You know, uh, JITA itself runs on a different cluster than, than other systems. So, um, you know, but anyway, that's what happened. It was fun. We all died. That's what I'm expecting at uh, this next thing. In fact, um, let's see here. Um, pull up that thread, see if they've updated it. They don't say yet. I was on their last live show. 
this last one I saw, the I Want Tisk guys, and I won a uh, ship. I just happened to be watching, and, uh, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll enter. I entered, and I won. It's kind of cool. It's worth about a billion. How do you make ISK in Faction Warfare? You earn LP for being successful in here. And you use that LP at the LP store to buy things that you turn around and sell on the market. Okay, well this ship is ready to go. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring up another account here. And uh, I'll show you guys my stealth bomber. I just want to uh, hide my desktop for a second here while I bring it up. So I'm going to bring my Marky Dragon character. Um, that is running Covert Ops. I'm going to bring this other character that I'm logging into right now that uh, is also Covert Ops but as a uh, uh, stealth bomber. I won't be bombing, I'll be using torpedoes. Um, and I'll have to figure out which. Uh, I have two different ships that I can do with this one. And uh, I'm just going to finish logging in here. And I'll show them to you guys. Hey, so uh, this is my character that I'm actually working on Amar stuff. Um, so that's uh, why you see the nice golden chip here. And let's see what station I'm in. Okay. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Frame rate kind of sucks when I bring up a second client. Okay, so I have um, I have two ships here. This guy's in Faction Warfare as well. Oh, you know what? Bringing guys in in Faction Warfare, there's going to be both factions there. It might be just a shit fest. I hope it's really close to where I have all my ships, because if it is, then I'll just keep reshipping and coming back and, and just searching for opposing faction. That could be fun. So uh, this, uh, this ship right here is, um, let's see, let me turn off my scout here. Welcome to the Dragons. So um, this ship is a nemesis and it, uh, this one has 336 DPS, which is not too bad. Uh, I can, th this is, this stuff is really sick, but, uh, I can target and shoot about 170, 117 K. So very far. Um, and, uh, and he can fly covert. So it's a it's a pretty interesting, pretty interesting deal. Um, I wonder if I can fit a second one of the sensor boosters on here. Probably not. I don't have enough CPU. But if I'm fighting something big, I can just hit him straight. If I'm fighting something smaller, then I've got a uh, I'll have to boost the scan resolution. And that one is stable. So, and then I've got another ship here that, um, this one is 402 DPS. Um, and it's, uh, I can fly these out 102K. I can target it at, uh, um, target at 66. 
So I can see I've got the wrong sensor booster stuff on here. I'm going to just take those off, unload those. So with two of them on there, I should be able to um, both boost the scan resolution and boost out to uh, 100K for targeting. Um, but these need to um, these have to uh, I won't be able to hit frigates with them. That would be very difficult. So good uh, good amount of of uh, power there though against uh, bigger ships. So I can go I can go up against uh, I don't know. I might try destroyers, going against destroyers. Destroyers probably aren't big enough. Uh, really probably cruisers and above. Most effective against battleships. <clears throat> so, anyway, I'll uh, take those out. Um, don't know which. And uh, I guess a lot of things depend on what system this event is going to take place in, which we don't know yet. If it's um, if it's close to where I've got these ships, then great. I'll plan on going out and blowing up, losing one, and picking up another. I think I think I'm about 50 million on each one of these. Uh, it's what it would cost to replace. 30 to 50, somewhere in that range. So. Yeah, uh, target painters. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm not very good with uh, these ships right here. In fact, uh, so these ships were built by the, the person who owned the account before me. Uh, they trained this account up specifically for these two ships. And um, I don't know exactly how they were doing. I've tried to replicate it, but they, uh, the person was doing um, mission level four for uh, faction warfare, uh, soloing it. And, um, but, I, but I don't know, I tried to replicate that and I just don't have the finesse or the knowledge on, on how to do that. But these, these two fits are the fits that he was running. And so, um, but I don't know, I don't know how he did it, but, uh, you know, at tier four, uh, I believe that you can, you can make, um, you know, a uh, hundred thousand, uh, as much as a hundred thousand LP, uh, in an hour. Um, so, but that's solo and that's, and that's what they, what, what do they call that on the, the mission running? When you go in, you just hit the target and you leave, you don't do anything else. Um, mission burning or something. I can't remember what it's called. So, anyway, I'll be bringing this guy out and then uh, I'll have my Marky Dragon character and wonder if I can set up. I will set up another thing for the Marky Dragon character to show the whole play area if I can we'll see I'd like to get a good view so that we you know can show that while I'm going out and get another ship so okay well shutting down turn off that account so I get my good frame rate back Here's my current best view for the scout, which I can move uh, 
some stuff out of the way. And then I can take the overview and change it. Our ships require the most skills. Oh, okay. Untamed penguin. I don't know. Uh, I'm just uh, getting into a Mar ship stuff right now, so maybe I'll be able to answer that question for you uh, as we uh, uh, as I get into a Mar stuff. I know that I um, warp drive active. I started uh, working on that other character that had the MR ship, uh, so he's got all of these other skills, but uh, not very much Amar, and I want, uh, I want to play some Amar ships, so I'm training him up right now to do Amar stuff. I'm going to go out and patrol that station, see if I can get any uh, good kills out there. One thing about Amar, they use lasers, so you don't have to, or energy weapons, and so you don't have to, uh, um, you don't have to do, uh, worry about ammo. You don't have that consumable. Do have to worry about ammo. Hmm. I. They degrade, huh? Okay. Well, I haven't done very much stuff with that, so. I'm sure, I'll learn that along the way. And there's a bajillion different types of crystals. Gee whiz. Space aircraft carrier, Galante ship, I don't know. 
Venture. What is a venture? That's just a little T1. Is that a little cargo ship? Oh no, wait. Why am I not? It's stupid. I should know what a venture is. I only own about a hundred of them. So we'll just see what comes in here, see if anything interesting. Uh, Untamed Penguin, uh, I don't know when the next Burn Jita is, but uh, I can tell you I won't be flying any freight when it's going on. Don't they usually last, Burn Jita lasts for about a week? That uh, Smite Championship, that's coming up, right? Next week. I won't, there'll be no show next week. Because I'll be there. Uh, I'll have to record a lot of stuff while I'm there. Are they streaming that? On oh, their I'm, channels? Sh I'm yeah. sure they are. I'm sure they are. So. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to stream that. And then... Uh, uh, I think their channel is Smite Game, uh, and um, I'll be, uh, I'm doing several things there, so I hope to film a lot there, I hope to come back with a lot of uh, interviews and stuff, so, and then I'm also meeting with CCP while I'm there, so they have offices in Atlanta. About like the future of EVE, or? Valkyrie or what? Um, uh, Undisclosed. Yeah. Nice, nice. So, uh, but uh, you know everything. Welcome to the dragons. Everything works out well. All of you will see the benefits. Woohoo! Yeah. You think for Burn Jita to happen again that CCP would royally have to screw up? 
I think that Vern Jeta has been going on for many, many years. Um, so. Welcome chains, to the Dragons. Chains of ships, you mean like frigate, destroyer, cruiser, battle cruiser, battleship. Um, yeah, so I, I, I do think we'll see Burn Jita again in the future. And uh, so that is a 100% player run event. It's not, it's not something that CCP dreamed up. And uh, it's, it's done by goons, Minotti. Uh, they've, been, they've been doing it for years. And um, commerce in Jita nearly stops when, when that happens. I'm sure that the other uh, sub um, sub hubs get a lot of traffic, and I'm sure that there's some burning that goes on at those too. I um, I will not be flying my freighter, any of my freighters, during burn Jita. Uh, I'm not even going to fly them outside of Jita. Just not going to happen. So. Matani, Matani, you know, excuse my southern accent. Let's see here. I have the Matani's card here somewhere. I was looking for it. I don't know where I put it. Um... But anyway, I met the guy, his name's Alex. Met him at FanFest last year. What is FanFest? Like end of the Are year? you going to the FanFest again this year? Uh, I'm 90% sure I am. So, um, if I do go, I'll be staying with Thor. Um, Thor. Uh, I'm not pretty sure about that yet, since this issue was coming up. What? What issue? You know what issue. I talked about that with you in private on Skype. What? Grandfather. Don't do that. Your grandfather? PV? Yes. The PV thingy. Welcome yeah, to the what Dragons. Is, what does that have to do with me staying with Thor in Iceland? Ah, uh, you stay with Thor. Ah, I thought I, because I was also planning to go to, um, visit him and also the East Fantastic. Oh. oh, okay. Misunderstanding, so sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I may see you there too, possibly. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. That would be cool. Yep. I'm going to have to make sure I'm in tip-top health so I can go out and do a lot of drinking and really abuse myself. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much drinking that happens at FanFest. Oh my god. They sell they sell beer and stuff right there at FanFest. You can um, and then and then the the drunken Rome that happens in real life, the bar hopping. I mean, they I don't know what that stuff was, but the liquid was clear and it burned. <laughs> and uh, and you know before going out for that, I mean they were bringing out cases of this stuff, handing out bottles, handing out shot glasses. And, and they're like, we can't leave until these are all done. And we drank like an entire case of whatever this stuff was. <laughs> um, you know, there was, uh, I don't know, there was 150 of us or so going to the bar thing. And Maybe four? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it was. Uh, it, was in, it was in Icelandic. I, I can't read it. So, um, But, uh, yeah, there was, there was a case or two of that stuff, and it was really hard liquor. Um, and, and we drank it all, and then and then we walked to the bars and drank more. <laughs> so that was like get us warmed up. Uh, this year, it's not even going to be above freezing when we're there. So it hasn't snowed once. It's it's probably like flurried a little bit here, but it's just so unusual that we haven't seen some good snow this year. It's just been raining and warm. Was it a green fog in Maryland or so? What? 
Was the button green? The button green? The button, the bottle. The bottle oh, the bottle? The, the, no, yeah. I think it was clear. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, you know what? I don't... My <laughs> recollection of that night is not so good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was a real-life drunken Rome, except we did not shoot at each other. <laughs> um... Yeah, Plot there twist. was there was several several uh, fleets that went out and they all behaved accordingly. Uh, Lord Helmet, woohoo! Lord Helmet, he's an Imperial Navy slicer. I'm heading toward him. Not that I'm going to catch him. He's a freaking hundred and sixty away. Actually, there we go. Oh my god, I have a spot right in front of him that I can warp to. Oh, and he warped away right as I... Oh, wait. Damn it. Okay, that was a, that was a mistake. Um, apparently, apparently your bookmarks, you can't see how far away they are. That bookmark was on the other side of the galaxy. Or the system. I thought I was going to land right in front of him. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I should have zoomed out a little bit more. Yep. If you buy the EVE Collector's Edition from EVE Account Management, it's just... Uh, no, they ship it to you. And apparently don't make them anymore. Yeah. Darn it, he left. Well, that sucks. That was a fail on my part. I was looking forward to uh, throwing missiles at that helmet. I'm all by myself in this fleet now. Sad. Right. Let's see. It's an hour before they're going to start this event. Has anybody seen where the event is for the Titan? I lost the link. I don't have it any longer. I'm going to their website. So they don't have uh, yeah I want to see some sort of official found anything yet so so uh burp me no likes yeah that's the only thread it doesn't say where though yeah when it says citadel region probably
Hey, well, uh, maybe I'll go out and make some LP while we're waiting to find out. I assume that they're going to update that thread or something. I have no idea. I have no idea, really, what their, what their plan is. But I think it would be something cool to go do. Helping out a customer while I'm for a moment. I guess I'll take my guy here, my scout. Warp drive active. I'm going to go look for uh, maybe a good farming location while I uh, stay here watching the gate. Now, even in LOSAC, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but even in LOSAC, if somebody undocks from here and they're not in faction warfare, they're like neutral, if I attack them, then station guns will attack me. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's a criminal act, yes. That's too bad. <laughs> Warp drive active. Terra. What kind of ship is a Terra? do not know what kind of ship a Terra is. Is 
is gone now. It's not on my list. I gotta update this list. This is pissing me off. I have far too many ships that are not on my list. It's a new hauler. Damn. I'd like a piece of that new hauler. I love the song. I'm going to turn it up. Actually, I wonder if I have the full version here. It's this one right here. Play the full version of it. It's a good spacey song. I made a nice time lapse in uh, video in uh, Iceland that I set to this music. Oh, uh, this song is Varian and Seven Minutes Dead, uh, Mira Sakai. It's on the Monster Cat. Monster Cat label. That's great that you found a link to the song. That's cool. Uh, the BR-5 RB battle? Don't know what that was. I was not part of it. So in about an hour, I hope that we're going to go do the Titan thing. We shall see. Hopefully they're announcing where it is. Sometime soon. The song has three different phases.
official statement set out at 1900 okay well then in an hour it's gonna be absolute mayhem I'm gonna lose a lot of ships I'm sure I hope it's close to where I can reship they have a stream going somebody link to their stream see their stream up Okay, so that's their that's their Twitch there. What are they streaming right now? They're offline. Yeah. Check back there. I'm sure they'll stream it. I'll stream it live too. I have my Marky Dragon character set up so that I can covertly watch. So this other Tristan guy that's in here, I arrived, he pulled in his drones, he hasn't shot at any of the rats, I'm doing all the work. I asked him if he wanted any help, he didn't respond. Yeah, Titan kill event in an hour. Okay, now he's attacking it. Good. Maybe just thought there was no use because I'm like two hits and I blow it up. Welcome to the dragons. Yeah, he might not be he might not be able to understand English so I'm not too worried about it he's not uh, being hostile toward me he was he was uh, he ran off whenever I first warped in he was a little bit afraid but then he came back in after so I killed the rat and two of us here is better than one It's not because I'm good, he's just timid, I guess. Although, in the last two days, since I figured out some of these changes on this ship, I've been my most successful in PvP, for sure. What game is this? Uh, King Froggy, this is EVE Online, and uh, 
It is a 10 year old game that is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's uh, the most complex MMO there is. So, um, here. There, uh, go check out that link. That's an official video from CCP about Eve. If that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. Especially the point at 3 minutes 18 seconds. That should get you really excited. Yeah, I guess it's uh, 11 years old now. 12. Fantastic game. Doing faction warfare right now, kind of like capture the flag. This one's pretty easy, not facing any resistance, but you die a lot doing this stuff. Oh, Caracal. Caracal on short scan. I am going to align. He left. Welcome to the dragons. The Caracal decided not to come in. Interesting. Oh wait, he couldn't. We're in a small. So, no sweat. Uh, if you're starting new to the game, uh, do the tutorials. I hate tutorials. I really do. I avoided a bunch of them. But if you do the tutorials, it'll give you the foundation you need to know how to operate your ship. And then join a group like the Air Hogs or some someplace else that... Uh, can uh, help you out. You'll get stuck at different places and everything. You'll need uh, um, you'll need a uh, you'll need somebody to help you out when you get stuck. When like when you get stuck on knowledge, like you're trying to figure something out and you can't figure it out. Not all of Eve is intuitive. It is intentionally hard in many places, such as this knowing your environment and me keeping hitting the scan button it's intentionally hard that you don't know what is coming in around you and so you have to be creative and uh, figure out how best to protect yourself or to take advantage of this hardness um, most games take a look at WoW go and make things really easy make things easier so it's lower barrier to entry Eve has made some changes to lower barrier to entry on a few things, but they don't, they haven't really impacted the way we play the game and what makes Eve be beautiful, so. Um, go ahead and link to that guy's channel. Uh, anything that's Eve related, feel free to link to it. So if that guy's got uh, good stuff, go ahead and link to it. Okay, I've got a Rifter that's Galante Federation. He's opposing. He's sitting out there. Oh, I don't have my scout turned on, so you guys can't see this. Um, and he left. He decided he didn't want to come in. I love that song. It's so spacey. It's really cool. Let's play some more outer space music. I'm feeling like outer space. Let's see here. Here's another good... No. Is this it? Yeah. And another good spacey song. Uh, Demox did... Yes, you have to wait. Uh, it takes about two business days to get it, so... For most people. So you don't have to wait very long. Yeah, as long as you, uh... Entered in your shipping information... You'll get it. 
The, the codes are in the box on cards. But, uh... Um, it'll be worth it. What system am I in? I'm not telling. That's to keep stream sniping from happening. Happened less. Um, but if anyone wants to join in fleet, you can get into the Marky Dragon channel in game and uh, X up in there and make sure that uh, you join TeamSpeak, which is listed in there. Gotta be on comms. We though, we're just waiting for top of the hour to, um, to hear where the system is that they're doing this Titan event. And uh, so once you hear that, um, Gonna be heading there. I had a video that I made with this song, and I can't find it. I'm really wish I could, but uh, it was a video with this song that. Uh, where we took uh, a tour through Evegate, Old Man Star, and stuff like that. Uh, and I set it to music. I was being chased the whole way. <laughs> I remember that one. Yeah, and I can't find the original video. Kind of disappointed. Didn't you upload it on YouTube as well? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I uploaded it as a trailer that's at the end of some of my videos, but I don't have it in its entirety and I wanted to put it up on the pre-roll music that I play whenever I'm starting up the stream. Mm -hmm. I wanted to put it in as one of those. Oh, okay. Hmm. Rifter is here again, he is Galante Federation. Why am I the only one shooting this thing? Got it. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. Okay, let's... Hey, I'm gonna engage with him. Hope this other guy doesn't run. Get your drones out, fool! Help me out! God, you fucker, help me out. There you go, get your drones out. He ran away. Sergeant, you like that? Uh, Bert, me no likes. It was you that I was calling the fucker. No, I'm just kidding. Caracal at the gate, doesn't matter. He cannot come in here. Nah, I just wanted this other guy that's in here with me to get his drones out. <laughs> Help me out. I've been a hardcore MMO veteran for several years now. Dude, I was here at the beginning. 
Oh, there's a hawk. Caldari State landing on the gate. Fuck, he's gonna come in and he's gonna steal part of my LP! He hasn't activated the gate yet. We got 13 seconds left. He's just sitting on the gate. He doesn't know that if he lands in here, he's collecting a third of this LP. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, we captured. Rifter just came back, too. Okay, I am. Uh, I am Welcome going to the Dragons. To the safe spot. Cool. I haven't linked my 500 million per hour on Faction Warfare. I've never made 500 million an hour in Faction Warfare. That would be awesome if I had. My Marky Dragon channel on YouTube, there's an Eve playlist that uh, shows a lot, of, a lot of the stuff there. I love my Korax. So, let's see. Oh, I guess neither one of those. I thought maybe there would be a link in there for the YouTube stuff. Let's see here. Can I please answer your question? I don't know what your question was. That's why I didn't get answered. I'm stepping away for just a second. I'll be right back, everybody. Welcome to the Dragons. fact that I can win AFK ball in space um, oh that question holy cow let's see here you know I get distracted that's one of my attributes As far as MMOs, this year, Neosland, Star Citizen, Shroud of the Avatar, um, for various reasons, maybe not the same reasons as to why you like certain games though. Titan event. Okay. 
I'm going to change my title on the show. I think I'm going to change it to something like Titan Kill? How many times will I die? Yeah, something like that. Okay, right, so I, I updated the title of the show, but I don't know that um, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully we get to a Titan kill. I don't know. So looks like it's about a half hour before before they um, announce the system. So, I plan on being there, I plan on dying, I plan on bringing multiple characters, multiple ships, and um, I plan on providing to, uh, assistance to the Mayhem. Most definitely. Okay. Now, there's only one outpost left in here? Holy cow. Go look at it. I bet you everybody's there. Drive active. Take my scout over there. Yes, release the Titan. So I just I just re did it. I just put Titan kill. I don't know what else to put. Um, I hope it's accurate. I mean, not that like I think that I'm going to be the final shot on it. Um, that would be that would be pretty funny if I was. Um, but, um. You know, I, I have no expectation of that. So, we're just gonna have a good time, gonna hang out, and, uh, and we'll I'll be, I'll bring my scout over there, my covert ops guy, I'll bring him over, and we'll, uh, I'll make sure we get a good view of it. And so, I should be able to have a couple different views. Um, and we'll just see what's what. I have no idea what to expect, other than I should just expect to die, and uh, that'll probably be true. There's a Garmer here. Holy shit. Okay, the Garmer is inside the medium. Chances are he is not in my Milita because I'm the only one in my Milita here. So. We don't know what system the Titan's going to be in yet. It's going to be announced in a half hour. So that's what we're waiting for. Oh, and now there's a Vexer there as well. Hmm. They're both inside there. I ain't going in there. Garmer will chew me up. So will a Vexer. Those, those ships are too big. So uh, if we hit 250 viewers, we'll do a drawing for another Minimitar Bounty Hunter starter pack. Uh, you can get in on that, exclamation point, enter. Uh, just make sure you're a follower. And it's a free entry on that. And then uh, we also have the second decade edition, shipped edition. It's the last one we have to give away. So uh, if you been waiting for the time to get something good. Now's the time. Exclamation point ticket space and then at least the number one. Number one will use 10 gold. Number 10 will use 100 gold. And uh, each one is a ticket. It's like a lottery. So one will be chosen and that person will be the winner. If you buy more tickets, well, of course, then you have bigger chance. But in all honesty, it only takes one ticket to win. So Iron Bank is coming online. Ah, okay. There they are. So, here is, um, there's Iron Bank. 
everybody hop in and give him a follow and tell him that Marky Dragon sent you. So, again, there it is. Yeah, so, hey, well, we'll, uh, as soon as that ad stops playing, I'll turn on the audio as long as it's not copyright stuff. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm not hearing any audio from it, actually. It's good, because it's Eye of the Tire, and I think it's a copyright strike. <laughs> oh. it muted so um, coming to kill the Titan Markster Marky so I just told him that uh, I doubt it but I am coming to die trying that really sounds like a really off poorly worded sentence I am coming to die trying <laughs> okay. So, I don't know. I guess I have a raffle going. May as well get in on that. This is where I won. Um, I forget what it was. It was like a Tech 2 version of Megatron. Um, the uh, Anyway, it was... Um, Worth a billion isk. So, hi. Um. <clears throat> okay. Well. Uh. So I'm gonna go out and hit another site while we're waiting. If anybody sees uh, where they're announcing that they're uh, that they're doing it then uh, um, you know let me know and we'll get ready be in Jita and be fast TD is inevitable I don't understand what that means. And could they really do it in Jita? If they got special permission from CCP. Oh yeah, if any of you want to get out there and salvage stuff, you are going to get a shit ton of stuff. Because it's going to be mayhem. Okay, well, um, we'll be in system next to Jita. Hmm. I don't want to just go and sit in Jita for the next 20 minutes and wait. Oh. Um. Okay, well, I'll ask him.
They're already in Jita. They're in Jita right now. Okay. I guess I'm going to go to Jita. So... That's going to be kind of crazy. Warp drive active. It's okay, I'll fly my ships there now. Welcome to the Dragons. Warp drive active. Okay. So, it won't take me 20 minutes to get there. Yeah, Jita is going to be full. This is going to be a problem. Getting into Jita. Jita can only handle 2,150 people. Warp drive active. Before it starts making everybody wait at the gates. Which can be a little unpleasant. Warp drive active. Okay, so, well, heading there, I'll make sure we get a good view. Got, um, got a pretty good view here on my uh, scout. Right here, I should be able to get a pretty close up uh, view of everything. So, Warp drive active. it's one of two covert ops guys I have, and uh. So, should be able to keep a good view of it. Uh, the Marky Dragon character, I do not plan on um, him engaging. In fact, I actually don't have guns on that. That's, that's set up 100% for speed and covert ops. Um, so, some of the modules that I have on that um, are about 190 million each. Um, I have two modules on it that cost me 190 million each. And uh, so I don't know what, what the fit is, cost is total, but um, it's definitely, I don't know, 400, 500,000. I don't remember what the other ones were. I just remember those ones were, were so expensive. Jita is officially full. Damn. Hey, I've got another account that I can log in in a moment to try and get into Jita. This is going to be a problem because I'm faction war and going to be stuck on a gate. Um, and then I've got like the highest bounty in the game and I'm going to be stuck on a gate. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a malediction right here. He's looking at me. God damn it. Go away. Good. He went away. Warp drive active. All right, he's talking on there now. <clears throat> so, I can't listen to the stream that stream at the same time. I there's issues that you violate with contract with Twitch by 
doing audio and video from another stream, and so I'm going to rely on you guys to to uh, let me know. I'll get my other covert ops guy logged in in a moment. Um, let's see how many jumps? I've still got several jumps to go with this guy. Just go to the back door? Yeah. You can go in a pod. That would be lovely. Either one of these. Not an, is not an issue. Go in a pod. Yeah, that may happen anyway, whether I want it to or not. Just saying. Warp drive active. Oh yeah. I like that. They tried to lock on to me at the gate there. On the Marky Dragon character. Somebody will get a good bounty payout off of that. This is the most expensive ship I've flown. Uh, in the game. Uh, that I could potentially be popped in. So, and the bounty is based upon, you know, um, bounty is, is based upon the value of your ship. I, I don't know if it's just whole value or, or more, but. Warp drive active. About to go through the dreaded Tama. Warp drive active. I'm gonna warp to a safe here. Warp drive active. Let's see if I can get my scout in. Hopefully, I don't go boom. Fuck, there's a lot of people right here. Jump prohibited. Oh, I made it through. Two times trying. Woohoo! Okay, we got time dilation going on in here. What is it set at? 65% currently. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tama is real bad. That's what I'm about to go through next here. So, um, it's okay. Okay, let's see what uh, Jita looks like out here. What are these reds? Several Proteuses out here. Wow, there is a ton of people out here. Okay. Time dilation's really heavy, 77% now. Whoa, everybody just disappeared. What the fuck? I kid you not, did you guys see that? Everybody just disappeared. You can't see any of the other ships. What's up with that? I've never seen that before.
Yeah, I'm gonna change this view a little bit. Maybe too many ships on the grid? I don't know. Yeah, it might be. Might be. So I'm gonna just change this a little bit so that you guys can kind of see stuff there. Um, hey. Yeah, I think we got... No, we're at 92% time dilation. Holy cow. Okay, I'm coming in with my other ship. Warp drive active. I wonder if I have any other characters here that can do covert ops. Yeah, I've never seen that before where everybody disappeared. As I see them warping in, they appear and then they disappear. And I am moving so... In fact, I'm not even moving. What? My guy stopped moving. You cannot navigate because it's too far away. What? I tell it to orbit and it says I can't do it because I'm too far away. I think something's fucked up here. Hey, I'm gonna, um, for you guys watching on YouTube, uh, you just have to wait for the next episode to see the real shit, because I'm in this one. <laughs>